Maybe it was 149 as well. <coughs> Alright, let's just do this. Let's see how this goes. And we can't even... We can't, again, we can't see the boxes ahead of time. So... We might miss our chance to get some time bonuses. Doing so... Doing alright so far. Keep an eye on the time, make sure it's not over 150. If you fall, there's no way. You may as well just restart at that point. Dang it. Alright, whatever. Actually, it might have been better to just, like, boost through this. And I bounce into him. Lovely. Maybe we can still do it? I don't know. I highly doubt it. This is bad. Okay, remember, it can't be 150. Oh, that was close. Yep. Yep, was. What was it? Yeah, I think it was 150. Okay. You. No, I'm missing the times. No, this could be bad. What is with that? Okay. No. Mm. I don't think it. I don't think we're gonna get it. Screw you. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. I shouldn't have done shouldn't have done that either. Man. No! Okay, whatever, I messed up anyway. So first round don't use. Got it.
Okay. Bruh. Why? Donkey Dong. Conkey Dong. I should be able to like, keep it going until then. I don't hit that uh, whatever. Be my guest. Oy. There's one here, so at least there's that. And you almost screw me over, stupid UFO. No, I don't know. I'll just stop with this one, so... This could be a bit more tricky, but... That was good. That was good enough, I think. We might actually get this one. Maybe. I'd like not to be here for 10 years. that guy. That's that. Okay. Alright. Alright. Go. Yes! Thank you! Oh, dude. I was afraid we were going to still just be stuck on that level for years. Oh, that's the that's the fastest I've ever actually been in that level. Okay, one more level to go. Rings of Power, the name of an old Noidog game, I think it was like I've heard it was like the first game they made or something. I don't know much of the trivia, but you know. First off, we're going to get the box gem, and then we're going to get the regular gem from being the level and the relic, so, yeah, just making it so... Actually, no, what am I thinking? Yeah, okay, never mind. I was, gonna, I was confused there, because, like, don't you just get a gem from being, or, like, getting to the end or getting all the, um... I don't know why I was... I kept on... Tap in a uh, circle, I don't know why. Like, I can just hold it down. But no, you have to actually beat them. Otherwise, it doesn't really give us a gem. Alright. This is a cool level, though. Like, it, it's a. Uh, uses the playing gimmick in a way that is actually really uh, interesting and fun. There's only one of kind of types of these levels and it's a prime example of um, a, a, a pre-existing level theme feeling like an a new, entirely new level theme, which is really nice. Did that get it? Yes, it got the jam. Okay, cool. We didn't get first, so it's all going according to plan. Yes, okay. A 
it's all working out. Now all we have to do is just get a really good time here. So basically, what you want to do is do your battle roll on all of the, well, as many of these rings as possible. It does make your make it a little bit harder to just get onto the next one in time, but yeah, just do it as much as you can. Like your best time would be to not do that to spin all of them, but, we'll see. Okay, that was bad, but whatever. We can still do it. Actually, no, I don't... I want to get the gold at the same time. I don't want to have to replay the level. Because then it's just... It screws up everything otherwise. So I want to make sure I... I want to make sure I get the gold and then some. Sorry if I'm not... D okay, come on. Alright. Alright, I'm just gonna do a normal thing, though. But yeah, sorry if I'm not talking that much. But, you know, I wanna make sure I get this in... as few tries as possible. Oh gosh! I don't know if the nitro crates affect you in this level or not. Because they don't ever seem to blow up on me and kill me. Or maybe about maybe it's because the bow rolling, like it's because of the invincibility frames is Cancelling it out or something. I don't know. Come on, that is such a tight turn. Okay, yeah, at that point. Slow down a little bit. Because I can do all this other stuff fine.
Eat my dust. Yes! Come on, please be good enough. It's gonna be 55. Watch it. Yes! Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, dance. Dance crash. And with that, 104% complete. 25 out of 25 crystals. All the powers. 44 out of 45 gems. What's up with that? We'll see. 9 platinum, 21 gold. All the relics. But what's up with that 25th gem, you ask? Well, if we go back to the normal warp room here. And if we go over to Coco, what will happen is secret gem obtained and fireworks galore. Yep. And now we're booted up to 105%. The only way to get that is to get all the gold relics. Not too big of a bonus, but it's cool nonetheless. And just saving her. And if you look around, it's not only the sick floor room where we can't access any levels. Everywhere, you can't. We can't access any level anywhere. I don't know if that happens when any other boss icon appears, but I guess there's something to. Uh, uh, test as later on at some point if I ever do go back to the originals because by the time I play this game again it's going to be insane trilogies version oh we'll see about that but besides that opening uh, opening cutscene the this is literally the same fight so yeah, it's nothing different. It... Oh well, wow. it... capture card kind of screwed up a bit there. Okay, I am recording this right. Like, okay, good. I, if I went crazy and talked to no one during those past two and two to three hours, I would have gone. I would have gone nuts. Like just saving all, and it would make it so I had to play the entire game again. Yeah, that would be bad. I mean, I again I'll play this game again in a heartbeat, but uh, losing all that would be terrible. I still lo I still really love this theme though. As easy as this fight can be. Well, it's the hardest Cortex fight in this series, but that's not really saying a lot. Right. One more hit, and the game's over. Now, this is what I mean, though. This is the only type of game where you have to fight... You actually have to fight Cor Cortex fight to beat the whole game to get the secret ending and all that now that's why i kind of want like i wish like um 
they made Cortexes fight harder in some way the second time, just to make it that much more climactic, but oh well. End of the game. Now, if only you could see them, like, run out. Or say, lol, snow. <laughs> the time twister machine could not hold itself together. We were lucky to escape. Yeah, if only you could see that. I was like, oh, hi, dinosaur. <laughs> Give me the mask! When did I shall take over the world? Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Now this uh, ending f ending does what the the normal one should do, is when the actual talking ends, um, they uh, have the music like mo music volume go back up again. Because the original the normal ending like it screws up your volume music volume in the actual game, so you exit Cortex, and the volume is like back to thirty percent instead of a hundred, and it really messes things up. Anyways though, final thoughts, I love this game a lot, like I, used to, it, like I said, it's my favourite in the series, it's probably one of my favourite platformers in general, Favorite, probably one of my favourite overall games, like I think they really nailed the platforming of Crash, I think is the most refined here, and the platforming levels are definitely the highlight of the game, although, again, I do, I do, really enjoy the other stages like I think the jet ski levels are pretty fun um, I think I the motorcycle levels are the, the worst part for sure but um, they're only really terrible when you have to go for the gold relics other than that they aren't too bad uh, area 51 in general though can just kill itself because you're gonna have to sit go through that level if you want to if you want to get to this ending like you're gonna have to get the box gem, you're gonna have to win at least, you're gonna have to get first and all that, so yeah, it's kind of a pain, but either way, like other than that, I really love the level themes, like there are so many different level themes, the music's the best in the series here, I think, and the bosses are, like, a lot better than before, like, they are so much more energised and action-packed, and they're a lot more fun to fight. I really, I like most of the um, power-ups you get from them, and, oh, you don't even get, I guess in this version you don't get the uh, developer times, that's weird, but, yeah, everything about this game, I think, like, almost everything about this game is dang near perfect in my opinion, and I just love replaying it, like, I can, it's a really easy game for me to pick up and replay, and, it's just a blast, really. Um, you can't go wrong wrong with Crash 3. And again, I understand why people prefer 2, but 3 just does more for me. And again, it's one of the first games I played, so that has to do something about That has to have something to do with it. But yeah, I really love this game. I think it's a really, really uh, great platformer. A really great game overall, like in general. And yeah, <laughs> it's it has a few flaws that keep it from being a perfect game, but it's still up there as one, absolutely one of my favourite platformers of all time. So with that, I've been Super Mario Sonic Lover. This has been Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped, and I'll see you guys next time. May, probably by the time this comes out, uh, next thing for Crash will be the Insane Trilogy streams. Um, or it could be happening at the same time. I don't know yet. We'll see. But either way, see you guys next time.
Peace out.